Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe back and I'm gonna do uh, one of my little talking about whatever. So this is number 10. Um, so again, most of my biggest themes that I talk about in these are usually issues with my book buying or library books or like talking about things that, you know, I have to deal with that are maybe not the reading part of it, but more the other aspects of being here on booktube and um, things I get caught up in. So again, I've been struggling with my book buying the last couple of years. And again, a lot of people say when you join booktube, your, your spending kind of goes out of control for a little bit. Well, mine went a little longer than that. <laughs> I would say I've had two years of just excessive um, book buying. And um, as much as it's wonderful, and I love my books. And I have so many books that they're still stacked up on the floor from October. <laughs> so um, I do need to do another purge. I usually do them twice a year um, in December and in June around that. Um, so I'll probably be going through my shelves again. I don't think there's a whole lot I want to purge um, because again, I've done it it feels like just recently, but um, there's a few I can get rid of, I think so. But really, my problem is, is I bring in too many books. So today I'm just going to kind of talk about something I've decided to <laughs> change in the way that I buy books and see if this works. So I have tried multiple ways of doing this. I think earlier in the year, I was trying to limit myself to one book a week, um, maybe two if I had a pre-order that was coming in so that I wouldn't at the most, I would, I would <laughs> buy eight to 10 books at the most. That did not work past February. <laughs> I have not been able to hit 10 since then. Like it's, it's been, it's been bad. So, I mean, again, I love all the books. I have so many books to read now that really, I don't need to buy books for, you know, a lot of years. Let's just, <laughs> I wouldn't have to buy a book. I just because I read over a hundred books a year, but I, I mean, I just, I don't read fast enough to, with how much I've bought. Cause I've bought way over that, uh, this year alone. And last year I wrote, I bought a lot of books last year. This year is pretty close, but it's not quite as bad, but it's still, it's still bad. So, um, so again, I tried, um, that, um, method. I do not very, I do not do good on no buys. I am horrible at them. Like I have this, um, I don't know if it's from when I was in my, um, Oh, it was early 20s or late 20s, like early mid 20s, like when I was, you know, just out of college. So I didn't have a whole lot of money and I wasn't getting paid a whole lot. And I only had so much money for books. And every time I felt that I was kind of short, so I didn't, I go, well, no, I can't buy any books for a little bit. I would actually have a moment where I just freak out and I'd buy like three or four of them. And it's not like I needed them. Because again, even then I had more books than, than I, you know, I still had books to read on my shelf. But I, um, I just, for some reason that worries me. I think I ha I don't know what that, like, <laughs> that thing is about, um, running out of books to read that I don't remember what that, that, uh, that phobia is, but I pretty much have that. I'm pretty sure. But again, I have struggled always to control my book buying. Um, it is like the one thing I spend my, mo most of my excess money on is books. Um, I think the other thing is travel and probably eating out. I don't know. <laughs> Probably. I would say probably that's true. Um, but books is the thing I spend the most money on. I don't buy a lot of music. I don't go to movies. I don't, um, I don't do a lot of things like, I, I don't know, where, where I would spend money on other hobbies. My other hobby is writing. So that, as, soon, as long as my computer's working, which again, a couple of years ago, I had to buy a new computer because mine crashed. But the thing is, is that I don't, after I got my setup, I'm fine for a couple of years, so I don't have to pay any money on that. And I got a good setup here in my office. I have a big monitor. I have a, a stereo, uh, you know, stereo system so that I can plug in and um, listen to music while I write. So I don't need anything else. I have a reading chair. I have a reading light. Anyway, and then I have, you know, I have I have YouTube and BookTube, and I spend more money on my <laughs> cable that I don't really watch, but I use the internet. Anyway. That all to say is that book buying is the major thing I spend my money on. It's the thing I spend the most time looking on the internet for is other books. And it's the thing I love about watching booktube is finding new things that I want to read in the future. So 
Um, I have always been big on lists. I always write down books I'm looking for, new or used. Um, my uh, lists on Amazon and Book Depository are huge. I um, am very lucky and have Pal's bookstore in town, so I check their website constantly for things to see if they have books I want to go check out um, over at the location close to me. Um, it's just, um, but I, and then of course the evils of online stuff. I've done stuff like on Marketplace and I've even discovered eBay this year. I put eBay off for many years. I, cause my brother had issues with it back in the day and I just never went looking for books there until it was the only place I could think of to look for a book and that's where I found it. So now it's another one on my list. So, okay. So I know all these great places I want to go and I want to get all these books. Problem is, is I really need to save more money right now because my car is, is on the verge of going out. I mean, it's, it's still okay right now. It is making a funny noise, which I'm going to go have checked out, but, um, it's 20 years old <laughs> and I, I do want to buy another car. I just, you know, it's the whole coming up. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do a payment again. I haven't had done, done a payment in over 15 years. I don't, it's been so long anyway. So I'm not looking forward to that, but Knowing that that's in my future, that I have to save money for a deposit that I want to put down because I want to make it a pretty substantial one so that when I do do the car, my loan won't be that high. Um, I need to cut back on my book buying because I need that cash for and to know that I'm going to have that payment where right now I'm spending, I mean, there are months where I spent a couple hundred dollars on books. Now, not all of them were new. A lot of them were used, but a lot of them were new, just, you know off of Amazon or something or book depository. So I don't need to buy that many books, especially a couple hundred dollars worth every month. I really don't, but that's where all my overtime money was going. And now I have to like curb that. So, okay. So that whole <laughs> introduction of, yes, I have a problem in that way, but I'd still, so I'm, but I'm not saying it's like, you know, a problem that I can't stop. I'm just trying to find a way to still be able to get some books but also reduce my TBR. So my TBR, I mean, I don't know what my number is now. I'm scared to count it, but I think in end of the year, I'm going to count it to see where I'm at. Cause I think I'm going to try to next year, try to track better how many books on my TBR there are. Like I've tracked really good the last two years, what books I bought and brought in. And I'm right now going back through those lists and seeing which ones I've uh, read which isn't very much. So that's the other thing. So I want to try to reduce my TBR. Again, I'm over, over a thousand books on my TBR. I, there's, I'm not, I'm going to make a dent, but I'm not going to make it very far. But I also, I'm one of those people who love having choices. I like too many genres and too many different kinds of books to reduce stuff down to uh, a small level. I would have issues if I only had a hundred books on my TBR. That would panic me. Because that doesn't that doesn't seem like that would be a big enough range of all the books I like have enough uh, things to read. I don't it just it just wouldn't work. So I don't have a problem with my TBR being out of control in the way as in I just said I don't know how many there are, but there's a lot. I know it's over a thousand because I counted a couple of last year, and if I bought as many books as I did this year and <laughs> yeah okay anyway so. But my goal is still to reduce it enough or to not bring be bringing so many books in compared to what I'm reading. So again, I, I read on average, I would say, you know, eight to 10 books a month. Some months I read a lot more, other months I don't read as much. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm hoping to be, let's see here, about, you know, at least 110 read this year, but Again, I would say a third of that is library books or they're audio books, so I don't have a physical copy. So I want to look at just the physical books. Now, I will still use my library. I will still listen to audio books. I will still read eBooks because sometimes that's the only way you can get it. But to control my book buying, my goal right now is to read five physical books off my, off my shelf. Now, if one of those books is physical and then I listen to the audio book, that still counts because it's a physical book that is being uh, completed, but that's my only, they have, it has to be a physical book. And every five books <laughs> that I read, I can buy one. So I don't know if this is gonna work. 
And I don't know if I have to put a caveat like, um, <laughs> if I read five books and then I go on a book buying spree, I can't buy over five. I can only buy up to five, but try to buy less. I don't know. Like I haven't quite got to that, like, cause I just started. <laughs> so right now I've only read two physical books since I started this. Um, I already had bought in quite enough books this month. Like I was over 10, you know, well early in the month. So about a week and a half ago, I, um, you know, I have not bought another book online in a week and a half, <laughs> almost two weeks by the time I post this. So, um, that might not seem <laughs> like, a, a, a you know, like a good thing to other people. They might not see that as a step forward, but for me to not actually purchase anything online for almost two weeks is quite a miracle in some ways. Cause again, I'm so used to being, having the money to just do that. Um, so again, I'm trying to curb how much money just goes flying out of my <laughs> out of my wallet and uh, trying to save that for the car. So, and again, I do want to still travel next year at some point to somewhere. So I want to save money for that too. So I, I still need to, you know, be a little conservative also, you know, like it's, it's a, it's a part thing, but mostly it's the car. Let's just be honest. I want the car. <laughs> um, so, um, I don't know if anybody else does this where they have to track themselves. So I actually, you know, made up my little spreadsheet. I added one that has a list of what five books are physically coming off my TBR. Now this week, the last two weeks, I only read two books off my T off my physical TBR. The other, I think I, I've, I finished like four or five books. They were all from the library. They, they don't count. <laughs> It's sad, <laughs> but I made this distinction because they have to come off my TBR. So again, I ha I'm not going into the new year. I'll probably have my whole reading goals. And I, I swear one of them will be about reading off my shelf again, because I'm just not focusing on that that much. I love the library too much. I like finding new books. I buy so many books that there's, uh, there's just not enough time to read them all. And there are so many books that I bought a couple of years ago when I first joined booktube that I still haven't gotten to. And I'm almost on the verge of doing one of those, um, kind of like, uh, Kayla's, uh, Books and Lala's, her, um, like closet unhaul, but mine's not a closet. Mine just be looking at my old TBR, um, my old uh, book hauls. I know Doris at All The Books has done that. And so has Sarah, Sarah's Nightstand and April like, getting hooked with it. There might be some other people who've done it too, but I might have to do that just to see what books I've brought in in that first year I was on booktube and try to get through those and try to get them onto my TBR to get through them. And again, the next two years after that, I, I bought a lot more. <laughs> so I don't know how to start getting through everything. And again, I just only read so much. I admit I'm not, uh, I, I don't read as fast as some people. Um, I just, um, I have my own speed and I get through quite a bit. As I said, I get over a hundred books a year, but some people get closer to 200 and I'm like, I don't have time. I don't know how you do that. I love watching booktube and, and of course I'm trying to get back into my writing. So that'll take time. And, you know, and, and of course, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't, I wish I read faster, but I, I just don't. That's just the way it is. I dedicate a lot of time to it, but I'm just not a fast reader. Um, so that's kind of, um, all I'm going to talk about today. I just kind of, what do you guys think about, do you think, I don't know, is it reasonable to, uh, wait to buy a book after five books? I mean, I'm, I didn't want to go 10 because that just seemed like a really long time for me because I could be over a month. And I thought that would be more devastating to my morale that I might freak out and go buy books and not care. Um, I already am trying to read three books between now and Black Friday, just so that <laughs> So that if I buy books, at least <laughs> I got a couple of off, off my TBR first. I don't know. This might not have been the greatest time to start, but I just, I had to do something. I just, I have, I have bought a lot of books. And I said, when I've been keeping track of how much money I spent. I totally can reduce that. I really need to, if I'm going to have to have a car payment again. And I just, I just have to be aware of that. And so I'm trying to find ways to cut back and read the books off my shelf and, um, and again, I will try to curb my library books to not too many books, um, just so that, um, cause I'll, I need to read books that are in the house <laughs> and I have a lot and I want to read a lot. So anyway, um, that's it. So if you guys have any, uh, comments or, uh, any suggestions, 
Um, cause there is no, no buy. It's not going to happen. And I'm still going to buy my favorite authors, like their pre-orders. That's not going to change. Like those ones, there's not that many of them, but there's, you know, at least I have, I'm trying to cut down my pre-orders as well. So, but there's approximately like one a month that's a pre-order at this point. So I'm hoping, I'm probably going to keep that and just that's doesn't really count because those books I usually pick up pretty quickly. Like they're books I'm anticipating. Again, anything they're letting you sing, I'm going to read it right away. <laughs> but some of the other ones I need to read, be better about that. So I'm trying to cut back on that too. But it's just not, not as big a problem as my everyday, oh, hey, I just heard about that book. I'm going to go buy that book kind of thing. So I'm going to work on just making lists and then Yes, <laughs> Cooper. And then um, wait till I have, um, I've read five books off my shelf and then I can buy a book. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm not sure November and December was, was the best time to start this, but um, I'm looking at, do you think this is plausible that it could work? I don't know. I haven't, I'm a little worried for myself. <laughs> well, I need to reduce. So we will see what happens. So anyway, um let me know about your uh if you have any tricks on your book buying and again no 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 buys but just what kind of tricks do you think um that i could use um in making decisions about my book buying so anyway i'll talk to you guys later bye